Always do what you love, regardless of what you end up doing. My mother once told me that I started singing when I was a, uh, a really, really small child in the, in the car seat. Um, one of my favorite things that she said I used to sing was The Temptations. She said that uh, she would put it on and it could be year round. It didn't have to be around Christmas or anything like that. She'll just put that on and that was my favorite thing to sing. And she said that even though I wasn't fully saying the words, I knew exactly what tones and notes to hit. I started doing more music and creating more content. With the concert choir, we definitely did a lot of different pieces such as classical, spiritual. We traveled to a lot of different churches, to a lot of different uh, audition halls, a lot of different uh, places around the United States. When I got into the academy, you know, I made a couple of friends and I mentioned, you know, how I love to sing, I make music, and that was it. I was just mentioned to my academy friends, nobody else. One day, my class coordinator came up to me and said, oh, a little birdie told me you know how to sing. And I was just like, I don't know who told you that, but <laughs> so I told her I did and she asked me if I would like to sing the national anthem for our swearing-in ceremony. When I was finally exposed to singing for the sheriff's office, that was just phenomenal for me. It felt great to be able to deliver my other passion along with this passion of being a law enforcement officer. And I just thank the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in general for allowing me to be able to express that through uh, my singing. And that right there is something that I will forever be grateful for. It was an elderly lady. She had got a package from somebody that she doesn't know. Um, it was a random address that you couldn't find. She was getting random calls from this random person saying, oh, you need to send this package back um, or, you know, we're going to charge you this, that. It was one of those scam package things. So I ended up going to the call. Um, she was extremely nervous. Her um, still being kind of scared that somebody's watching her. I did sing her a uh, Amazing Grace song and she completely was calmed down after that. She said that I changed her perspective on law enforcement. Bringing out that gift and being allowed to bring out that gift for the agency just makes me feel a lot more at home. I don't feel like I have to hide that I know how to sing or I have to hold back any type of um, gift or musical knowledge or anything. Um, so being able to express that in this agency makes me feel free, um, that I can be myself. I don't have to hide anything. I, I can still be professional, but also show my passion at the same time. If this episode of Before the Badge has inspired you to protect and serve your community, we are currently hiring law enforcement, detention, and civilian positions. Go to joinhcso.com to learn more.